Okay, now that we have a basic framework for understanding HTML and CSS, I would like to come back into Dreamweaver here and get reoriented to our different parts. First of all, I have my starter page open. Down below, I am on my property inspector. I'm clicked into HTML, but I could also click over to CSS. For the moment, I'm staying on the HTML. And over here in my styles panel, I have an existing style rule or a set of style rules over here. And I can see that they are stacked in an order that I've predefined. And I have several of them already going. If I click on each of them, I can see what the rule is that applies to them. Now, when you see multiples like this tagged together, separated by comments, it means that that attribute, in this case margins, applies to all of these elements at the same shot. And then we can get into the H1 where I'm showing that the font size currently is an extra, extra large, all the way down to a, an H6 where it's an extra small. In this list I have not only HTML tags defined, but if I scroll down I can see starting with the period I have classes defined as well. So I can go ahead and use all of those different kinds of things to manipulate the way this particular page looks. Now the first thing on this page is I've got these things set into different divisions or div tags and that allows me one option to manipulate the content inside those particular blocks. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just think about for a moment the structure of the page and that is the heart and soul of my page is composed of this content area. I have a navigation area here which I might not want to have the same size as my content. I may want to visually change that. I have this little phrase called super informative title and in this particular phrase I'm going to want that to be the largest element on my page so that it really stands out and is um, something that the audience notices right away. My tagline is going to be much smaller than my title. And these are all elements that I would want to make some sort of decision on prior to getting started in terms of generally what I'm going to want this thing to look like. Even more importantly, as I'm creating a site with multiple pages, I do want to make sure that as I get to each page, each of my taglines are the same size. Each of my informative title areas are the same size, that my navigation looks the same, that my content looks the same. In that way it pre presents a unified website and that's always a better design choice. First of all, in terms of this super informative title, I can approach this in multiple different ways in terms of styling it, but I'm going to simply apply an HTML tag. Once again I have those HTML tags defined over here in my style area. In order to apply a, an HTML tag, I'm going to highlight the text and I'm going to come down here to my property inspector. Notice once again I'm on my HTML area and where it says format, I'm going to click down and I can see that I have a heading one tag. Now, when I choose that heading one tag, it takes on the attributes that I have defined over here. So the definition of how that H1 tag looks is over here, but where I apply it is down here on my property inspector piece. Let me go ahead and save that for a moment because that's always good practice. And now let's see how we can manipulate this H1 tag. Perhaps if this is an H1 and I can come over here and see that my H1 has some margins already set in this, in this longer rule here, but then I can also see my H1 has a variety of, of other pieces that I can apply to it. Now I do want to choose the one that just impacts the H1 tag. So I'm going to click on my H1 and I'm going to go ahead and come down to the bottom of my CSS style panel and click on edit rule. Now I can go ahead and change and redefine that H1 altogether. So for example, if I wanted to change it to a, let's say, a Georgia Times New Roman serif type font, 
currently it's set at a an extra extra large area but you know I could even get into some point uh, values there if I wanted to I could play with my font style I could play with my font weight I'm gonna choose bold and I could also choose a color by clicking on my color palette here I'm gonna choose a blue I could choose some other types of decorative elements but for the moment I don't want to I'm just simply doing a simple change on this so I should expect my font to remain at extra extra large but it's going to go to a Georgia Times New Roman it's going to be bold and it's going to be blue and I can go ahead and click apply and there it is over here now notice I didn't have to go back and re-highlight it and that's because let me just click out of this if I click on this I had already told it to apply the attributes of a heading one since it's already known to be a heading one over here once I change this rule I don't have to reapply anything so once again for example here are all of those attributes now if I wanted to edit that once again I'd simply click on it and click on my pencil what if perhaps I wanted this to be a um, let's go with a bright red here I can click on OK or apply and it immediately changes I'm gonna go ahead and save that altogether I'm gonna do that one more time and I'm going to highlight the phrase tagline and perhaps this tagline is something catchy and informative to my site I want this tagline to be smaller than my h1 tag or my informative title area and that's because traditionally a tagline is just a little tiny little bit of extra information so in this case I have set my super informative title to be an h1 and I'm going to set my tagline to be something like an H4. Now you can play around with these in terms of how you want them applied or how you want them structured, but logically H4 is smaller than H1, so I'm going to go ahead and jump down to that. Here's my tagline, and in order to apply that HTML tag, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to come down and I'm going to choose H4. And there it is. Now that didn't change radically that's because my h4 tagline definition isn't all that unique I'm gonna click on h4 here notice that the font size is set to medium and that's basically what the whole text is right now that's why we didn't see a huge change I'm gonna go ahead and click on the pencil to edit that particular piece and for the sake of change I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a different type of font I'm going to choose Arial black and I'm going to um, I'm going to leave it at medium actually I'm going to use a font weight of bold I'm sorry I'm going to do a font weight of normal and then I'm going to do a font style of italic and for the sake of of something different here I'm going to go ahead and choose a blue color once again there's multiple things I could change here but these are the ones I want to play with. I'm going to click on apply and notice once again my tagline immediately takes that attribute on because I have highlighted this little phrase previously and told it that I wanted it to be an H4 headline. I'm going to click OK. That's basically how we go about applying HTML tags to the different types of things in our document. I'm going to come back here in a moment and talk about how to apply and manipulate classes. See you in a minute.